work teachers do inside these classrooms is getting rewarded with new incentives in Oldham County schools. What number comes before four, Wally? It's Julie Hill's second year teaching K through five students at Kenwood Station Elementary. What two colors make teal? Green. And? Blue. Working with them is preparing her to care for her own child. I'm expecting, um, and I'm due um, at the end of October. When she has her first baby during the next school year, she'll be able to enjoy six weeks of paid leave without having to use her sick or personal time. All women are typically prepared to take their sick days and do all of those things for um, maternity leave, and it's um, just kind of unheard of in a school district, and so it's, it's really great to hear. It's one of several groundbreaking measures the Oldham County Board of Education approved on Monday to recruit and retain teachers and other staff members. The superintendent says 71% of all employees in the district are women. We can experience excellence for our kids by taking care of our people, and that's what our board is really committed to doing. The board also approved extended family and medical leave for eligible workers. They'll be able to take additional time off to care for newborns, newly adopted children, or family members with health conditions, or to recover from personal illnesses or injuries. All of this comes on top of the district's 7% raise for salaried employees and $2 an hour raise for hourly workers passed last month by the Board of Education. That is nice. That will allow me, especially with a growing family, to um, be more comfortable um, and to not worry as much about, you know, when the next paycheck is coming. The new incentives are already working. Mrs. Hill says she plans to stay here for a while, connecting and having fun with her students well beyond her maternity leave. At Kenwood Station Elementary, Madeline Carter, WLKY News.